tal amigos? Bienvenidos a su programa Compartiendo por Fe. Un programa diseñado para usted que terminó una importante etapa de su vida, pero que está listo para emprender una aventura de gozo y de servicio a través de diferentes oportunidades que se le presentan para seguir trabajando. More than 40 years ago, Christine and I answered the call to our first mission post in Honduras. And from that time on, we've always been interested in how others live and in other societies and other contexts. And we've noticed that there is so much need around the world. We've been able to live in Honduras, two places in Africa, and travel throughout the Inter-American Division as well as the different countries in Africa during those 40 years. Now that we're retired, we have more time for reflection. And we're thinking, what else can we do? We don't want to just stop. As soon as we uh, were retired, I thought, well, now I'm going to relax and do some painting and some reading and take it easy. But, you know, after a while, you think that your life has to have some more uh, purpose in life and one of them was to help others. So as we discussed, Wally and I, about the purpose that all those years that we still have to live, uh, that would be to continue the work that we have been doing during this past um, uh, 20, or 40 years. And uh, so the project came up in mind and we have to thank the Holy Spirit to give us the idea and I have to say that it is a wonderful way the Lord led to go into this kind of project. So after a year of saving our retirement checks, we said, now this is special. We can dedicate this year of retirement income to the Lord. And so then we decided to look, look around at some of those places that we've worked in before. And sure enough, we found plenty of need that we could use that, those funds to help others. We thought, now we have a new challenge on our hands. How are we going to do this? How can we create a way for other people to be involved? And not only the people that might be participating in the gift, but also those that receive. A text that came to our mind right away were the words of Jesus, which are recorded in Acts, which says it's more blessed to give than receive. And we thought, okay, we'll enjoy that blessing, but what about the people that receive? Could they also enjoy the blessing by giving? And from there, the idea was born that we could give in a way and ask the recipients or the people receiving the gift if they would be willing to give too. And there's a variety of ways how this is working in a variety of countries. But almost immediately, Mexico, Honduras, El Salvador, Dominican Republic, and even the Philippines decided we want to be part of this new activity. We called this organization, or this charity, By Grace Charity. And the name itself should tell everyone, including us, that it's by grace that we have something to give and it's by grace that we receive. So we freely receive and we freely give. There are different ways that people have participated already in these projects. Some of the ways are obvious because it takes funding in order to provide these materials for these families. In fact, I didn't mention before, but it's something very simple. And we have found that Per family, $150 will actually help them from a level of poverty into a level of self-sustenance. So by grouping 10 families together, we put together a package of $1,500 for 10 families. Now we say, well, that doesn't sound like too much, and it's not. It's very easy, reasonable amount to maybe 
provide for 10 families. But also at the same time, it's an amount that those families can relate to. If it was a huge amount of money, they would never be able to really participate or replicate the same thing for someone else. So the, one of the secrets is to keep the funding modest per family. The other ways that other people have been involved is actually forming groups. We've talked to people that know of groups of 10 that could be benefited in the Appalachian Mountains or an Indian, Indian reservation or somewhere else even in what we would consider to be a prosperous part of the world. So others are be involved in not only providing some of the resources but in also helping to organize these groups that can benefit and then benefit others. Christine and I firmly believe that there are other aspects to life rather than just getting ahead economically. And we're sure that these families, as much as they appreciate the help of breaking the cycle of poverty, that soon they'll be asking other questions that have to do with the bigger things of life, the things of your future and even your eternal future. And so we're grateful that these groups have access to people with spiritual leadership if they decide or if they want it. And that uh, once they are more comfortable in their living conditions, helping their children get uniforms for school or paying the necessary bills or getting just the right amount of food and nutrition for their children. The concept of freely receive, freely give is really the basis of By Grace Charity. And I'm sure you're thinking, well, I have a few questions. Or how is this evolving now that you've started? Are you learning new things? Or are things happening different in different countries? And for those reasons, we would like to be able to answer your questions. And you can always contact us and find out what are the new and exciting things that are happening this month in By Grace Charity? Y bien amigos, ¿qué les pareció esta historia? ¿Acaso no hemos sido motivados a seguir trabajando como Cristo trabajó hace dos mil años? Jesús trabajó arduamente por los pobres y los destituidos. Luego ascendió al Calvario a poner su vida por nosotros. Y luego ascendió al cielo, pero antes dejándonos una gran comisión, la de seguir predicando el Evangelio a toda criatura y a todo pueblo. Y finalmente déjenme decirles una cita, una gema, que nos dice así. Muchos que no pertenecen a nuestra fe están anhelando la ayuda que los cristianos tienen el deber de darles. Si el pueblo de Dios quisiera manifestar verdadero interés en sus vecinos, muchos serían alcanzados por las verdades especiales para este tiempo. Nada puede dar tanto carácter a la obra como el ayudar a la gente donde está. Miles podrían estar regocijándose hoy en el mensaje. Si los que aseveran amar a Dios y guardan sus mandamientos, hubiesen querido trabajar como Cristo trabajó. El ejemplo de Cristina y de Wally es una inspiración para todos. Inspiró mi vida, inspiró la tuya, ojalá que sea así. ¿Por qué no unimos entonces nuestros esfuerzos a la fundación By Grace Charity? Para que podamos llegar a diferentes grupos sembrando este principio de gratitud y de generosidad.